Oh, hey there. Uh, take a look at this. I want to show you something. So this here is the Plaid Quick Start. Feel free to follow along with me if you want, but you know, you don't have to. I've got it set up so it supports auth and identity right now, which, you know, are typical products for anybody looking to get started with account verification for something like pay by bank. But this trick applies to most other Plaid products as well. So, you know, keep watching even if you're not using these. Now, if I make a call here to the identity endpoint, I get back some information about my user, like their name, phone number, and apparently multiple addresses. Ooh, look at you with your fancy bi-coastal housing. But here's the thing. This data, while somewhat representative of a typical user, doesn't cover an important use case. In the real world, people can have joint checking accounts. And this name field can contain multiple names in any order. And if you're performing fraud checks and you don't think to test your user's name against every name in this array, you might end up accidentally blocking some legitimate users. And so you're like, great, you know, I can add some code to handle this. But like, now what? Like, how do I test this in Sandbox? Do I just like need to go and find a friend who has a joint account and like test this thing in production? And as much as I love testing in production, this is where custom Sandbox users can come in handy. These are custom users that you can set up in the Sandbox environment that will return, well, custom data. Uh, let me show you how. So custom users are simply represented as JSON data that can overwrite whatever default values exist in the sandbox. And if you head over to our documentation here, you can see the entire reference schema for the kinds of data you can overwrite for custom users. And so yeah, you could use that to create your own custom user data from scratch, but we've already got a bunch of custom users already created that cover common use cases. So it's usually easiest to just like start with one of those and modify it as necessary. So I'm gonna head on over to our GitHub page here it's this sandbox custom users repo. And let's go to this identity folder. And here's a JSON object that represents what a joint checking and savings account might look like with multiple users. You'll notice how the names array here has two names along with like multiple phone numbers and emails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this entire object. And then I'm gonna go over into the Plaid dashboard. And over here in developers sandbox test users, I'm going to ask to create a new user. Now these always begin with the name custom, so we'll call ours, you know, custom joint account. I'll add in a little description. And now I can paste in everything from this JSON object that I copied in earlier. And you know, feel free to modify this to meet your particular needs. Maybe you want to see what happens if a checking account has like three names. Well, you know, you can do that. So I'll hit save and uh, let's try running this quick start again. So I'll run link again. And this time when it asks me for a username, I'll type in custom joint account the same name I created earlier, and just type anything for the password. Now you can do this for these pop-up OAuth bank flows or the ones that appear in link. It generally works in both, but our docs do mention that in rare instances, the OAuth banks will overwrite one or two fields. So if the data doesn't match what you're expecting from these custom sandbox users, I guess go with a non-OAuth bank. Anyway, I will finish up here. And this time when I call identity get, I can see the three names that I had set up for this account. And so now when you need to test that your system properly accounts for multiple names getting returned by the identity product, well, now you can do that. And you can use these accounts with your automated tests too. So like, let me jump into this test file here. So you can see that I'm using the sandbox public token create endpoint to skip the plaid link process and just get a public token for an account. If you haven't used this endpoint for testing, by the way, I definitely recommend it. It lets you get a public token as if you had called link, but skips the whole user interface part. Here I'm specifying the products I want. And then here I'm specifying that instead of our usual, you know, user good, pass good, I want to use this custom joint account user. I then exchange this public token for an access token like normal, and then call identity get with this access token. And if I were to run this little script, you can see that I'm getting back that same custom user I created earlier. And there's lots more you can do with custom sandbox users. If you want to test identity against like the hard coded Leslie Nope character that you get back from identity verification, well, you can do that by changing the information that Plaid Identity sends back. If you want to set like the available balance, you can see how your system reacts to users who have a low balance. You know, you can do that as well. If you don't like the values you're getting back from assets or income, or just wish our sandbox transactions data didn't have that $500 airline credit, that's all something you can change with these custom sandbox users. So now that you know what custom sandbox users are, you know, go give them a try. Like add them to your integration tests, or just use them for, you know, better looking demos that give you better looking results. And hey, got other ideas for quick tips? Why not add them in the comments below and maybe I can make a video out of them in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.